The Megaraptor, a mutant Ford Super Duty pickup from Mega Rex, is big. It's so big, it disrupted international shipping for weeks after it got stuck in the Suez Canal. It's so big, there's snow on the roof that never melts. It needs rear axle steering or a hinge in the middle. The turnkey base price is $135,000, and you'll also want to budget for one of those wide-load pilot vehicles to drive a quarter-mile ahead and verify clearance for upcoming overpasses. Lifted diesel trucks, meet your new god. The Megaraptor recipe calls for a Ford Super Duty diesel 4x4 his F250, F350, or F450, a 4.0 or 4.5-inch suspension lift, bridge girder size Megarex radius arms, trophy truck-style bodywork with a clamshell front end, military MRP wheels, and 46-inch tires that weigh around 400 pounds per corner with their hub adapters. The final drive is re-geared to a 4.88 to 1 ratio and the speedometer corrected. The resulting creation is surprisingly proportional. Like mountains and skyscrapers, the Megaraptor requires some known frame of reference to visually communicate its enormity. Those flared fiberglass fenders add 16.0 inches of width. The floorboards are about 3 feet off the ground. Weight? It's flirting with 10,000 pounds. But that's okay because the tires are rated for 12,300 pounds. Each? Fortunately, a diesel-powered F-350, like the one hiding beneath all this chutzpah, is designed to haul, even when its payload is itself. You perceive the mass of the wheel and tire assemblies through the steering, and the brakes feel about like they would if there were a ton of concrete in the bed. But it's surprisingly easy to adapt to Megaraptor driving dynamics. Like 787 pilots and ship captains, you just plan your moves in advance. Aaron Richardette, owner of Megarex, says the Ford Super Duty is so brawny in the first place that it lends itself to Megaraptor treatment, even in F-250 guys. There's really no difference between an F-250 and F-350 except the springs, so our usual starting point is an F-250 lariat, he says. While Megarex will convert an owner's truck, the upfitter usually just buys a new one and builds the whole thing, about 40 last year. If you're looking for stock Super Duty fenders, we know where you can find a few. Richard Ed claims durability hasn't been a problem thus far, despite the enormous wheel and tire assemblies. Super Duties are overbuilt in the first place, he says. Ford doesn't want grungy work trucks coming back in under warranty. For the Mega Raptor curious, We'd point out that while the F-250 and F-350 might be functionally similar, the F-450 comes with larger brakes. This Megaraptor was purchased by an owner who drove it about 3,000 miles and then sold it back to Megarex, possibly after tiring of the mountaineering required to climb in and out of the driver's seat. As of now, it's still for sale for $169,950. It has some mods, turbo, intercooler, a tune. There's a power control knob to the left of the steering wheel that offers five positions, from stock to possibly inadvisable. Stock, in this case, means 475 horsepower and 1050 pound-feet of torque, enough to propel our truck pull F-250 tremor to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds, so the Megaraptor feels quite quick enough without throwing any more fuel at it. In the most aggressive setting, it'll bark those gigantic Michelins and shift hard enough to make you feel bad for the transmission. Plus, you'll want to remember that the dials for handling and braking were turned in the opposite direction from the one for massive horsepower. There's a reason you don't see wraps at your local autocross. And if you ever do, that's probably your signal to take an impromptu vacation at your nearest underground bunker. Driving the Megaraptor, you feel the eyes of the world upon you. Big rig drivers peer over, surprised to see a pickup with the same driver's seat H-point. Kids stare. Drivers of F-150 Raptors question their sanity. The Mega Raptor is a rolling eclipse. It makes every street one way. One day, we saw a bird fly under it. This isn't even a truck, it's performance art that deconstructs the entire concept of trucks. In our unofficial Megaraptor public opinion poll, half the people think it's awesome. 
The other half thinks it's ridiculous. They're both right. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like video and subscribe to my channel.